day already. Damn it. All right. I'll do it. From J.K. Rowling, the author of the book series that kept borders open for another few years, <laughs> comes the movie adaptation for people too lazy to read. <laughs> Harry Potter. The books are amazing. You're a wizard, Harry. When an evil noseless freak threatens to take over the world, noseless it's freak. up to this boy wizard, his totally useless friend, and his superior in every way hot lady friend <laughs> to defeat him. Uh, and when I said hot, I only meant in the last three movies after she turned into <laughs> a purse. Journey along as they travel to a magical purse. boarding school where kids learn potions, Ooh. spells, and divination, but not English math or science. <laughs> where technology seems to be frozen in the 19th century, replacing cell phones and the internet with quill pins and owls. <laughs> and where child endangerment is totally no big deal. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Seriously, how have they not shut this school down yet? <laughs> a franchise so epic, it took 10 years, 8 films, 4 directors, and 2 Dumbledore to tell, <laughs> featuring the one that started it all, right. the one everyone hates, what? the one everyone loves, My favorite. the one with shovel face, <laughs> the one with the raging hormones, the one where Dumbledore dies, oh, spoiler, <laughs> the one you can skip, yeah. and the one that made adults cry like little babies. <laughs> Follow our heroes as they transform from adorable youngsters struggling to act. I can't be a... <laughs> to awkward tweens, to barely legal heartthrobs, to young adults pretending to look like grown-ups. Ron really let himself pretending. go. Witness the magic that will dazzle you with questions like, if magic is supposed to be secret, you have risked the exposure of our world. Why is there doorway in the most highly trafficked subway station in London? Why are all the bullies in one house? Slytherin! And why don't they just expel them? Yeah. And isn't it disturbing that this rat on Ron's crotch is actually a grown man? <laughs> Relive the excitement of acclaimed Ooh. British thespians yelling nonsense. Volate ascendere! <laughs> Rubius Hagrid. Avada Kedavra. Felix Felicis. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw and Slytherin. <laughs> Battles that would have been way cooler with lightsabers. <laughs> or if they just moved around a little just more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> <sighs> and Rupert Grint's dumb face. Jeez. <laughs> Starring Luke Skypotter, Ginger Spice, your first erection, Boy <laughs> Davis, Professor Hans Gruber, Davis. Claudio Miranda, <laughs> Harry Oldman, Warwick Davis, <laughs> Forrest Whitaker, oh my God. Odor, Michael Jackson, <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, Warwick Davis, <laughs> Vladimir Putin, Larry King, what? Gandalf the Gay, and Boy <laughs> Davis, Harry Potter. <laughs> so Quidditch makes Ooh, absolutely man. no sense, right? A 150 point ball? That's just bullshit right there. <laughs> so I've got to agree with Anna's trailers on the fact that the acting was pretty horrible by the kids in the early stages. Uh, by the second movie, it got better, but Azkaban, or The Prisoner of Azkaban, the third movie, that's when it just got so much better. You could tell like everything just got amped up a notch in the quality department. I love all the movies, but that's still, to this day, my favorite. Uh, that's the one that I love. Goblin of Fire is fun, but Prisoner of Azkaban is just it's dark. It's brooding. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know. It, everything about that movie is just great. The other cool part about Prisoner of Azkaban, I'm going to talk about this one the most, is because that's the one that Alfonso Curion also directed. He did Gravity, Pan's Labyrinth, I believe, A Little Princess, 1995. Uh, <laughs> he's an awesome director. And so Roma. Uh, so him doing that was like really awesome as well. I wish he did more. But David Yates came in. I think he did, he did a lot of them. He did really, really good. Uh, better to me than Chris Columbus. Chris Columbus was good, but... It just didn't feel like its own thing. I feel like it was copying the books uh, to a degree that you shouldn't copy. Uh, I don't know. It just it felt off a little bit to me um, compared to the later movie. So, uh, but Azkaban is still, to this day, my favorite. Of the eight movies, let me know which one is your favorite. Again, three, Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite. Which one's yours? I'm always interested in which which movie people find is their favorite in the Harry Potter franchise. Same 
kind of to a degree like Star Wars as well. Same deal. Um, I look at it somewhat similarly. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Before we get to the pitch meeting, big shout out to you guys, members, subscribers, watchers. Thanks so much for supporting the channel any way that you do. To my hyper crew members, verbal shout out for you guys. Brian Tidwell, Steve-O, Slepnir, Dash Milner, K6013, Giro15000, Daniel Lopez, Kratos, Richie Chester, and Arnon Steelpelt. Thanks so much for choosing to support with that top tier crew. I really appreciate it. Now, let's get to the pitch meeting for the Harry Potter franchise. So, you have a movie series for me. Yes, sir, I do. It's based on this book series called Harry Potter. What are those about? Harry Potter. Right, that makes sense. Good title. <laughs> yeah, he's a boy who good, finds good out that he's a wizard, so he enters this magical world where people are pretty okay with slavery. What? Yeah, a lot of wizards have house elves as unpaid servants. Wow, the wizarding world sounds messed up. Well, they have some cool stuff going on too. Oh, they do? Yeah, they have like cool spells and magical creatures. Oh, that is cool. And uh, potions that can make people fall in love with you against their will. <laughs> what? So anyway, Harry's parents are killed by the evil Lord Voldemort when he was a baby. How was a baby able to kill his parents? No, Harry was the baby. Oh, Harry is Lord Voldemort? No, Harry was a baby and Lord Voldemort killed his parents. Uh, this movie is confusing. Not really. If you say so, my brain hurts. Voldemort will actually look like a baby at a certain point of the movie, though. Oh, well now I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, Harry's mom sacrifices herself to save him, so when Voldemort tries to kill Harry, it backfires and he kind of dies, but not totally. Wow, so he was, like, protected by love? Yeah. Hadn't anyone sacrificed themselves for a loved one before that point? I guess they didn't. Huh, what a loveless world. <laughs> so yeah, Harry's gonna be raised by this family called the Dursleys, and one day this guy Hagrid's gonna show up to bring him to wizarding school. Oh, what's Hagrid like? Oh, he's super nice. He's actually half giant. He's half giant? Yeah, his dad was a little human dude and his mom was an actual giant. So, how did they... How, <laughs> how did... How did they... How did they make a baby? Yeah. Well, I guess with a ladder and a lot of determination. <laughs> wow, that's super gross to imagine. Oh not if God. you're into that kind of stuff. I threw up in my mouth more than a little bit, so I feel like I'm not, but <laughs> what else happens in the movie? Well, Harry's gonna like go that. to Hogwarts, which is the school for witches and wizards. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what's that like? Oh, it's like a scary, dangerous place where everything's trying to kill you. Oh, so it's it's in Australia. No, good guess. It's in Scotland, actually. And can anyone apply to go to Hogwarts, sir? No, because the wizarding world is a secret. Like, the students have to take a secret train to get there. Oh, they're keeping it discreet, huh? H how do they get to the train? They run full speed into a brick wall in one of the busiest train stations in the UK. That seems kind of irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, well, Hogwarts is a pretty irresponsible place. How so? Oh. Well, it's right next to a forest that's super dangerous. Like, they call it the Forbidden Forest. Oh, so students can never go in there? Exactly. Pretty responsible policy, actually. Unless they get detention, then they get sent in at night. <laughs> oh, there it is. The Wizarding World also there has it its is. own sport called Quidditch. Oh yeah, what's the deal with Quidditch? Yeah, a bunch of people fly up into the air on broomsticks and go super fast. <laughs> Seems kind of dangerous. I imagine they're secured to the broom somehow. No, actually, part of the game is trying to knock the other players down. Yes. What? Yeah, so anyway, they try to score points by throwing this ball called a quaffle through some hoops. How many points is that worth? Ten a pop. Okay. <laughs> but then if a seeker catches the golden snitch, that's 150 points and the game ends. Oh, makes the rest of the game feel kind of pointless. Yeah, it's mostly pointless. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, all the books are gonna be about Harry Potter going up against Lord Voldemort, who's trying to rise to power again. How many books are there gonna be? The author told me there are gonna be seven books total, so that's like... Eight movies. <laughs> Eight movies for seven books? Yeah, I think by the time we put a couple of these out, people are going to be so invested Ooh. that they won't mind if we get a little cash grabby with the last book. Oh, uh, getting cash grabby is tight. Oh yeah, so every year <laughs> Harry Potter is going to go through something super dangerous that involves him personally every single time. Every time. Pretty unlucky. And Voldemort's going to plan something evil every year mm -hmm. in the spring. Nice of him to keep to the school <laughs> schedule like that. Yeah, it's very considerate for sure. So what kind of evil stuff does he plan? Well, like one year he needs a little bit of Harry's blood, right? Right. So he has to come up with some kind of evil plan to get it. Is that gonna be hard to do? Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he's just gonna have one of his followers pose as a Hogwarts teacher for a whole year, then have him sneak <laughs> Harry's name into the Goblet of Fire so he gets chosen for something called the Triwizard Tournament, even though that breaks all the rules. Then he's gonna hope that Harry somehow wins the tournament, even though he's vastly unprepared, so he can <laughs> touch the Triwizard Cup, which he's turned into something called a port key. That then teleports him to a cemetery where he gets a guy who was pretending to be Harry Harry's friend's rat for years, uh, <laughs> poke him with a knife. I'll be honest, that plan sounds super inconvenient. Mm. Yeah, I guess it does when I lay it all out like that. Seems like there'd be an easier way to get that done, especially with 
magic being a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's going to kind of be a theme in these movies. What do you mean? Well, we're going to establish some magical things that would solve a lot of problems, but then the characters aren't going to use them. <laughs> like what? For one thing, time travel exists. Yes. What? Yeah, there's a thing called the time turner that lets you go back in time. How did they not yeah. use that to solve a bunch of their problems? Well, one time they're going to use it to save a hippogriff, and other than that, it's going to be used by Harry's friend Hermione, so... She could take some extra classes. <laughs> what? Yeah, she wants to take some extra classes, so that's you know they entrust it. her with the ability to control time itself. And they don't solve any other mm -hmm. problems with the time turner. That's right. Wow. <laughs> There's also a potion called Felix Felicis that makes you super lucky and lets you achieve anything you set out uh -huh. to do. Seems pretty helpful for a war against a dark lord. Yeah, but they're hardly gonna use it. Why wouldn't they though? Well, we're gonna say that it's kinda hard to make, so. What if somebody took some Felix <laughs> so... Felicis and then set out to make more Felix Felicis and then they gave that out to the good guys before a fight. Please don't think about this too much. <laughs> okay, then I won't. So what do you think? Well, I think there's a lot of potential and I especially like the idea of taking the eventual last book and wringing two movies out of it. Yeah, I thought you might like that. <laughs> Is there anything else the author's working on that we can exploit like that? Well, apparently she's working on a little gimmicky guidebook thing called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, okay, that sounds interesting. But it's not gonna be a novel. It's gonna be like a guidebook to the Harry Potter <laughs> creatures. Okay, we'd have to be pretty greedy to try to turn that into a movie. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Let alone its own spin-off series. Can you imagine? <laughs> could, could you? <laughs> well, we're already on our third movie coming up. I think, what, this year, right? For uh, Fantastic Beasts, uh, The Secrets of Dumbledore, something like that. Um, so we're coming up on a third. So they're, they're, they're doing this. They're all, they're all the way in. They're just gonna keep trying to figure out ways to exploit this wizarding world as much as they can. The Fantastic Beasts movies are okay. They're nowhere near the level of the Harry Potter films. I don't think you can really strike that magic twice anyway. So what they're doing with this is fine. I think the period piece of these movies, just the, the fact that they're in, what, the 1920s or 30s, uh, that works. That, that's cool. But uh, it's just not much about these characters that I really like all that much. So it's a little bit, yeah, it's just it's, it's what it is. We'll talk about those more when we do the pitch meeting and uh, honest trailers versus for those. But uh, these were good. These were good. And I did these because they both talked about pretty much the whole franchise. I know Ryan George has started to do the movies individually. So I'll watch those. I don't think honest trailers is going to do them individually. Uh, they haven't yet. So it is what it is for honest trailers, but we'll watch the other uh, pitch meetings on their own. Unless there's a how it should have ended or dubs or anything, I could put those in there. Um, or everything wrong with, like, you know, let me know which, which you would prefer, everything wrong with or uh, how it should have ended, either the cartoon version or a dubs if there is one, I'll, I'll search for those too. So let me know in the comments which you would prefer the pitch meeting go up against uh, in that regard. Again, also in the comments, let me know which Harry Potter movie is your favorite of all eight movies. Mine is number three, Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, so let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, again, pitch meeting or honest trailer, which one did you prefer of these as well? That was our early pitch meeting. So I think the honest trailer might have a little bit uh, of, a, of a chance to win uh, <laughs> between these two. But you know, Ryan George, obviously, most of you guys love Ryan George no matter what. So I get it, but let me know which one you like more between these two videos as well. That's all I got for you guys on this one. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.